Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the program.cs changes that .NET team has done in .NET 6 for ASP.NET Core Web API and Blaze Basm projects. This video is for people who have started their project with .NET Core 3.1 or .NET 5 and now they want to make their program.cs look like .NET 6 project templates. You don't need to make these changes, but it's nice to have only one entry point for your application and get rid of startup.cs. And it's also nice to stay updated with what .NET 6 is doing so that when you move to .NET 7, it's easier to upgrade your project. This video was requested by me, Sam, on uh, Twitter. Thank you so much for asking this question. Let's get started with making these changes. For this demo, I'm going to use Blazing Chat because Blazing Chat has Web API, HP.NET Core Web API as backend and Blazor Wasm as frontend. So let's first make changes into our Web API and get rid of startup.cs and then we'll make same changes in Blazor Wasm project. Too. So currently, if I look at the project structure, we have startup.cs and program.cs. If I open program.cs, it's very small class where we have an entry point, which is this main method. And here we are calling this create host builder method, which is right here. And we are using web builder and asking it to use a startup class, which is right here, which is kind of confusing. It's just nice to get started with the application. Let's go to definition of the startup.cs. In the startup class, we have two main methods. One is configure services and configure. In configure services, we're adding services for our application. We are telling these are the services we are going to use for our application and we'll use them in our controllers and pages if we have any. And then we have this configure method where we are configuring our application. We are using the environment and we are also using the application builder and we are configuring our application to tell, you know, use authentication, use these endpoints. So these are the things that we are doing in configure method. Let's go ahead and create a .NET 6 project for our web API and see how that looks. So I'm going to right click on my solution and create a new project. We are not going to use this project. We'll delete this project later on. We are using this project to just compare how .NET 6 projects are. So I'm going to use target framework as .NET 6 and create this project. So this web application one will get added into my solution. And if I look at the files here, there is no startup.cs. It only has this program.cs. And it doesn't have that main method or class or constructor or any other methods. It has this builder line um, where we are creating a builder. And then we're using that builder to add services, you know, the configure services method. What this is the same thing what configure service method is doing. And then we're using builder again to build the application. And then later on, we are configuring the application. Whatever we were doing in configure method, this is what's happening here. So let's go ahead and make the same changes in our web API too. I'm going to go to my web API and open my program.cs. Here I'm going to select the whole file and delete it. We don't need any of these lines of code. And then I'm going to go to my startup.cs and copy all the using statements because we are going to need this in program.cs. So I'm going to copy all these using statements and put it in program.cs. And now I'm going to go to my configure services method here in startup.cs and copy the method body, copy all the services that we are adding for our application and paste it here, paste it in my program.cs. Now this is going to start throwing errors because it doesn't know what services is. If I go to my .NET 6 project that I've created, this web application one, here you can see this, we, we are building the builder, we are creating a builder, and we're using this builder to add services. So let's go ahead and try and do the same thing for our application too. I'm gonna to copy this line and paste it here. 
and wherever we have services i'm going to replace that with builder dot services so that we will use the same way that dotnet 6 project is doing so i'm going to go ahead and replace all the services with builder dot services so that we don't see any error now you can see that the errors that we were facing those are gone there is one more error this might allow specific origins this is a string property that we have in program uh, in startup.ca so i'm going to copy that and put it here so that that error goes away and we have one more error in getting the configuration so for jwt for json back tokens i'm using a secret key that i'm getting from app settings so here the configuration will be now in builder.configuration. You can't directly use configurations. And now you can see the all errors are gone. I'm going to keep this in a region so that it looks nicer. I'm going to add a region, which I'm going to call it as configure services. And I'm going to cut all this code and put it in configure services so that my code looks nicer so if i collapse this now we have the starting point and this is where we are configuring all the services and let's go ahead and create another region for configuring our app i'm going to go back to my startup.cs and this is where we were configuring services and this is where we were configuring our application so let's copy all this i'm going to copy all this and put it in my program.cs for my project. I'm going to put it here. This is going to start throwing errors, but let's go ahead and fix this. This environment is going to be builder.environment. If I go to program.cs of my web application one here, you can see that this is app.environment.development. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here. It's still going to throw an error for app. And if you look at where the app is coming app is coming from this builder.build so i'm going to copy that and paste it here once i paste that then all the errors that we were facing those are gone we are configuring our application now let's go ahead and put this in a region i'm going to add that into region i'm going to call it as configure app and then i'm going to cut this piece of code and put it in here so this is where we are configuring our services and this is where we are configuring our application let's go ahead and run our application now so this is where i'm going to run my application i'm going to see app.run so that our application runs and here i'm going to add a console statement to say that my application is running the reason why i'm adding this is because i'm using logging and i have uh, cleared all my all my providers so th this is the reason i just want to see that if my application is running or not i've cleared the providers that's the reason it won't show any logging messages okay all right so this is how we have updated our program.cs now we are not facing any errors i'm going to go ahead and delete my startup.cs we don't need that anymore i'm going to delete that that's gone now let's go ahead and build our project and see if you are facing any errors or not. So it's going to build client project too. That's fine. And you can see that all the errors are gone. Now. All right. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for our Blazor Basm project, which is pretty simple. If you're using Blazor Server project, you'll follow the same method that we did for Web API, but for Blazor Basm project. We already don't have startup.cs. We are going to use only program.cs. So if I open program.cs, it already has this configure services region. The only thing that we need to do is it's to get rid of this main method. You don't need to do that anymore in pro in .NET 6. So I'm gonna get rid of that main entry point method. It's considered as the first line is considered as it is the entry point of the project. And I'm gonna press control K F to format my project or format my lines this is throwing an error but it's just missing a namespace that i'm going to add here now we are done with all the changes that we need to do to make our program.cs look like 
.NET 6 projects. Let's go ahead and run our application and see if it's running or not. So I'm going to run my web API and see if it's throwing any errors or not. It's building and now it's going to print application has started. You can see that this application has started and I'm going to go to my client project and run my project. And hopefully this will run too. It's running. I'm going to go back to my, my browser and refresh my page here to get the latest bits on my browser. And you can see our application is just working fine even after making these changes. So this is how you can make your program.cs look like .NET 6 projects. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter or Facebook account. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.